Ladies and gentlemen, last time we left off. After fixing the closed road from a rock slide, we have a bridge to repair now. And the only reason I know about it is because I've been there. Um, but I know it's there, and so we're going to get the parts for it and just head over and do it. So we're going to go down here and slip around a little bit. The good news is we're already in town, so we can get everything we need right now. This one shouldn't take too long. If we have time, we may be able to get two done in one. What the frig? Why don't my barriers go away? I don't understand this. This is going to be a nightmare. Is there something I'm missing? Maybe you have to do... I think you have to do the get to the garage. So maybe that's why it's not working. Anyway, we're, we got to go. We're going to end up in the garage anyway. So... Um, that's super annoying. Let me do something real quick here. We're, I'm going to... Let's see if this works. I'm going to actually shut my truck off. And we're going to go to my garage. <laughs> Just using the jump. Find the garage. I, where could it be? And it doesn't count. <laughs> so we're going to take this truck out. And leave the garage. And let's see if that counts. There must be like a circle or something we have to drive into. That's a little clunky. I know where the garage is, thanks. I've been promoted to level seven. Hey! Wait, something was available. Oh, there's more missions available. Hmm. Interesting. Let's move to the garage. I, I wish I could have seen what that said. It said it so quick. We got the biggest motor. We have the best motor. Bad fuel consumption, though, but... So we could actually use a smaller motor with the snow runner and maybe do more off-roading, but... Anything else come in here? Got our big off-road tires. Ooh, we got mud tires now. <gasps> Ooh, we don't need them yet, I don't think. We've been doing okay with the the 38-inch OS tires. But that's cool. Anything else here? Extended Scout, that's cool. Small roof rack, meh. Snorkel, nope. So we've gotten some new stuff. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's go back to our other truck. So that took care of that. So hopefully now when I go back to my other truck, that'll be gone. Um, and maybe we'll have some better tires for our truck, though. I don't think so. I think that comes with level 8. So... Yep, there it goes. So our the pain in the butt is gone. <laughs> Our pain in the butt uh, blockade is over. I hear a dog barking. Oops. <laughs> that sign gets me every time. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're just going to bust down the neighbor's fence. Oh, sorry guys. I broke your fence by mistake.
Good. We'll attach the trailer. We're going to turn all-wheel drive off. Or not. That's not at all what I wanted to do. What the heck? Oh. I'm in the uh, advanced mode. That's why it didn't work. Whoops. You have to have a serious crane to lift that. I can't. I've tried to lift that with this crane, and it will not lift. I mean, I've gotten right up on it, and it won't lift. So, don't know what else to do other than. I've been told by somebody that um, doing the um, crane gives you more money, but I don't believe it. Nope. So we got our planks, metal planks, and now we're going to head, let's see, which way? My instinct is to the right. Yeah, yep. So our next stop is the sawmill. I'm going to leave this trailer parked in town. I don't want to drag, you know, these uh, metal planks all the way down into the sawmill. That would be a pain in the butt. I think this is the road to the sawmill here. Nope, it's a picnic ground. Hopefully it says sawmill on it. This might be the sawmill road. Let's see. Technically, I totally missed it. Um, so I guess we'll just... That is not going to be a nice road for this truck. Uh, I think we're just going to have to go down to the end and work our way in. It kind of sucks because I, I overshot it. But that's okay. We'll, we'll... Might be better to go back through town. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop these trailers off and we'll go through town to get it. So we'll stop here. And on the way back through, we'll get fuel. These guys don't mind if we use their gas station for a stopping point because we are rebuilding their town for them, so. Sweet. Hmm. I just think it's a shorter road through town to get to the sawmill. So we're going to rock that. It said lumber that way. Yeah, I don't want to take this truck down there. I mean, maybe it's not that bad, but if I remember right, it's pretty steep. So it seems like it'd be easier just to go around the outside. Around the outside. Sorry. Two trailer. Never mind. Oh, stop. Oh, whoops. Hang on one second, folks. Sorry, I was looking in the menu to see if I could find a turn off hands on the steering wheel sonic setting but there is none we're stuck goofy hands for the rest of our lives See, like, even this road is bad. I think that other road would have been maybe um, impossible, impassable, something like that. One or the other. Whoa, bonk. Whoa, 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 whoa. slow down. In real life, I would have hit my head on the ceiling. You can see how bad this road is. I mean, this is a bigger road compared to that other one, I think. I mean, maybe we could try scooting out that other way and see how it goes. But I think it's probably going to be too rough.
That's the other road right there. Eh, it doesn't look horrible, to be honest with you. And that'll take us out a little closer to the gas station, so we'll try that on the way back out. Boop. Wooden planks. And we're gonna load these on. Activate the anchor. And we're gonna go to crane mode. Extend that out a little bit. this. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Rotate it a little bit. Thankfully, the interface is in the way again, so we can't see what we're doing. Mm. <laughs> Whoops, turn it. Lift it, drop it. Perfect. Exactly where I wanted it. And then we're going to go to our out and then cargo management. Yep. And then we're going to do our crane again. And winch it up. These are heavy. You can see they're like it's the crane is struggling. Uh oh. Okay, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in, Babby. All right. All right. All right. Right there. Nope. Nope. Turn it. Good. Bring it in. Just a little bit more. You gotta wiggle it. Just a little bit. Bring it in. Don't. Oh no. You don't do that. Don't. You do it. Don't do it. Do it. Don't do it. And okay. Perfect. Right there. And go to sleep. Oh! It looks like I missed, but I did it, sort of. Great loading job. Excellent. You're fired. Pack the cargo. Restore the crane. And we're off. That's it. Not too bad. Took about two minutes. So let's go ahead and... Let's see. Uh, if I go out... There. It's right there. So we'll try to work our way out that way and see how we do. I don't know, man. I think we've done worse. That top part of the hill looks really shady, though. But we'll see. No, nah, we'll be fine. This is fine. Oh, look at that sun coming down on the truck. It's pretty cool. It's a cool effect. Come on, truck. No problems whatsoever. This truck is just able to do it. Let's change the name from Fleet Star to Can Do. But really is the star of the fleet. Even though I don't really have a fleet, this is the only truck I own right now. And hopefully it'll make it up this. Now this is a little bit more intense. 
of a climb, but it looks like we're doing okay. This is about as steep as it's going to get. A little bit more at the ridge, but she's doing okay. We're not having any issues. Come on, come on, come on. And we did it. Somehow I got on the wrong track. However, this track takes us right to the fuel station, so hey. Perfect. There's our gas station. Oh. And we should be okay to switch to... Whoa! All-wheel drive. Got a little rocket boost there when we switched out. right back to the gas station. So that actually wasn't too bad. Well, the fact that we could make it out with a full load means we would have had no problem getting in with a empty truck. With an empty truck. Uh, Alright, so we're going to go ahead and, and back in here. And we're going to go bridge hunting. Cool. Actually, we're not going to go bridge hunting yet. We're going to pick this trailer up. The good news is we'll pass another gas station, so we should be hey, fine. No issues running out of gas. And off we go. So we're going to go back down the road we've always known. But I'll, we'll, we're going to take a different, a little bit of a different route this time, so I will stay with you guys for this ascension to the bridge that is out. It's a fairly short drive, and it's all mostly either on road or just light dirt but it's passable I wish this truck would get um, fog lights it doesn't have a fog light kit that I can see um, and that'd be very helpful when we're in this kind of in these kind of conditions so But you can see how having lots of trailers helps. So you can sell them, but you can also, you know, if you if you have ones that you don't find useful for yourself, get rid of them by all means. But um, I think there's ones that you can keep too that you do need. So now here's where the things change a little bit. Instead of going back to the garage, we're going to go to the left. bump now just like mud runner you do have to watch on those bumps and rocks too. these little rocks if I hit those rocks with this truck I will do suspension damage so you have to kind of you know make sure that you're paying attention to the road conditions and if there's big rises or bumps in the road you will damage your truck if you just fly over them so you got to be careful slide there but it's fixed up I think we're almost to the second gas station which means we're over halfway to the out the outed bridge So here's the mission we were prepared for, and we did it very quickly. Uh-oh. Stalling out on the hill. We'll put the diff locks on. And the sun is going down, so we'll, we might stop at this next gas station for the night. And 
and wait till sunup for the bridge repair, though. You know what? I think, nah, we're just going to push. We're so close. Yeah, there's the gas station. That means the, bri the bridge is just up around the corner there, so we're going to just push through. I don't even need gas. Uh, the one thing that's going to be a bit of a problem is getting this trailer back down the hill. I got to think about this. Is this the best way to do this? We're going to try. I, I might regret doing this, but... You might be better off dropping the trailer at the gas station and then taking the load off and putting it up. But then again, we can't lift that that metal kit with our truck, so. Uh-oh. Did it again. The truck had to stop the shift. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Oh. Barely making it, but we're making it. And once again, this truck, I think there's bigger motors for it, but I don't know that I'm unlocked. We can look at the garage, or it could be a leveling up thing, too, maybe. We'll see. But it is a lot of weight that we're pulling right now, so it's no surprise that... We are struggling a bit getting up the hills. Okay, brakes on, show task. Very, we accept your task. We're going to do cargo management, deliver this. Phase one complete. You always have to have the um, the metal part first, bef the planks, uh, before you can build a bridge. And now we're going to unload these. Wait, what? Uh oh, what is it asking for? Service parts? <laughs> oh God. Well, we have service parts, so that's good news, but dang. What is this under? What are they calling this? Mountain Bridge. Wait a minute. Arg. Mama, mama, mama. Nope. Okay. Oh, der. Okay. Oh, <laughs> of course. I need concrete. I don't need wood. I need concrete. Oh. Okay. Well, let's see here. The nearest concrete's going to be at the warehouse. Which, to be honest with you, we're at the road that leads there. It's a little bit of a frightening road, but we could deliver from the other side coming back with a full load. So, foodoo. Um, all right. This does not leave us much option for turning. I don't know how we're going to do this. I really want to put this wood into that trailer. And there is another load. There's a bridge further ahead that needs to be repaired that also needs wood. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to leave this trailer. How can we do this? So once again, what turned into from a 19 minute job just turned into like a two hour process. Uh, we're going to detach the trailer. That's how this game works. Uh oh, wait, attach the trailer? No, attach. <laughs> okay, thank God. <laughs> I was watching, there it goes. Uh, the first thing we need to do is take care of that trailer because that's gonna roll away. <laughs> Uh, stop. <laughs> it still wants to go. So, got cocky. I got cocky. I did. I'm going to admit it. I got ahead of myself. 
So we're going back to the gas station first things first. We're going to take the trailer back and park it there. We're going to put the wood in the trailer for the next mission. And we are going to uh, get the concrete blocks that we need. God dang it. <laughs> uh, I should pull forward a little bit, Arthy. All right. Brakes. There we go. Knucklehead. Okay. So, yeah, I know it's not the best way to do it. It's not the greatest for the trailer, but it's not about the trailer. It's about me. Yeah, the trailer's going to outstrip me here. Come on, stay put. Oh, no wonder I can't see. Once again, spend the night at the gas station. Be smart. Don't be an arse like I am. <laughs> the story of my life alright so we're going to park here and yes you do need that trailer later on that's one of the reasons why you need the P12 uh, alright so we're going to park right here yeah mm. we're going to uh, disconnect that and swing around We're just going to load these, overload them right into the uh, next door trailer here. It should be pretty easy. And then we're going to get some gas and go to sleep. Wake up fresh in the morning and finish getting the concrete blocks that we need for the bridge. Oh, pay attention to the mission, Arthur. It wouldn't have mattered. I would have had to come back anyway. But now, now we have wood to finish the next part, so I'm not too upset about it. We'll actually do both of these in one episode, so... You guys get a little bonus time here. Uh, let's go ahead and push that cargo. Unpack. And we're going to activate the anchors. Cool. And the crane. Lift it up straight. Put it over. to lower using the X key. Boink. There we go. And drop. Perfect. Shorten this up. Okay. And lift. No, that was not a fart. I don't do that on YouTube videos. Ever. It never happens. Thanks, Salad. Okay, so then we're gonna put this here and whoop! Drop it in while it's still spinning. There we go. All set. And then we can jump, jump out of here and restore the crane. Move forward. We need to attach the, we need to make sure that load is secured, otherwise, it'll pop out of the trailer at some point. My wife has that happen all the time. Functions, attach trailer, parking brake on, there we go, and we're going to pack the cargo, boom, all right, and then we're going to detach that trailer, we're going to sh stop our engine, and the fuel, st fuel station, fuel her up, ta-da, we go, <sighs> okay, so, the night passes. We have a, a very unrestful sleep in our truck, but it's better than nothing. Um,
We've made friends with the gas station owner. Bonus. And off we go. Oh, we should probably look at where we're actually going. Hello, Arthur. Good morning. Uh, okay, so we're going up the road, and we're going to cut up here. Actually, let's do this. That's sloppy. So we're going to cut up here. And see, this wooden bridge needs to be done, too, so we'll fix that next. We'll, we'll, oh, there's a roadblock here, too. Yikes. Well, we'll see what needs what. This is probably going to be service for parts, so I think we'll just we'll fix the bridge. Come on. No, we can't. Hmm. Well, we'll fix the mountain bridge, and then we'll grab the wooden parts and fix the wooden bridge. Yeah, that's how we'll do it. That's, I know what I'm talking about. Uh, and then... <laughs> Here to the warehouse. Boom. All right. Let's see how that does. And we can come back. We should be able to come back the other way. So let's go do it. Go, go, Gadget Arms. So we'll call this episode Double Bridge Repair. Can Arthur survive the night in his truck at the gas station? The answer is yes. Can he fix both the bridges in one episode? Not in under an hour he can't, but he can still fix them. You having fun? I'm having fun, guys. This game is amazing. I could play this forever. Well, maybe not. Probably in about a week I'll be like, oh my god, I never want to see that game again. The grind is real, and I like it. I like grindy games, so... You know, this one, the fact that you keep unlocking and, and building and growing... Now, the real money's in the contracts, but we have to get these roads done before we can do contracts because there's a lot of, like, places where we need to get that we can't get to. Uh, there we go. Camera issues. We'll just stay in the cab for now. This looks like it might be more like a trail for pickup trucks. Oh, man. I think it is. So if the price of the trucks goes up in the garage, my question is, like, you can't really sell a truck then and plan on getting it back for the same price, because as the prices rise, you're going to have to pay more for the same thing later. That kind of makes you think twice about selling trucks um, if you're not sure if you're going to want it later or not. It's kind of a rough one. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Keep it in low gear. Let the gearing keep the truck back. We're going to be sliding down the hill, and I think we're almost done with this route, which is nice. It actually is a very short route. And then coming back, we'll head that way, I think. On a bigger road with a cargo load. Watch it. Oh. A little rough there. This isn't so bad, actually. And here is the warehouse. Muck free. Sort of. Bumpers all smashed in again. I keep doing that to my truck. Poor truck. Don't hit the post. MH Warehouse. <laughs> I 
All right, cargo management. Nope, we want to go to the right. And we want uh, bricks, no. Uh, concrete block, yes. Let's go ahead and load two of those on. So we're gonna uh, activate the anchors and put the crane out. I like the way how quick and ready the crane is. It's like boom, and it just comes right out. And we need to lift this. Oh man, these are heavy. And we're gonna bring the crane in as much as possible. Yep, and lower. Oops. I'm gonna tag the uh, protector there and just come back this way a little bit. There we go. And we'll drop right there. Boom. Oh, <laughs> yeah, perfect. Try that again. Sorry, I'm not happy. There we go. And we're going to exit back there, back here. Cargo management. I don't want bricks. Concrete blocks. There we go. I kind of wish the cargo, and once again, this is just a. Nope. This is just being nitpicky. I kind of wish they would. Um, keep the last thing that you picked so you don't have to keep like going back and picking it over again but whatever that's no Arg. okay I pre keep pressing X without actually activating the crane so there we go Oop, nope lift that boat bad boy Arthur, you dummy. Well, I'll keep rotating it. Oh god, my crane is sagging. It's like hydraulics depleted. Okay. And are we lined up? Hmm. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to lower that. Nope, we're going to raise that. We're going to lower that. It's not right. Come on. Over. Boom. Nope. Perfect. Wow, that took me a really long time. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, and we're going to fold this up, pack the cargo. Boom. Boom. Get out of here. Whoops, nope. Uh, uh, restore crane. And we're off. That took forever. Sorry, guys. Uh, and we need to go. It's a crappy rainy day. So how are we going back? We need to look at our map and see where that goes. Um, I want to go this way. This way, this way, and then to here. So it should be pretty quick drive. I don't think it's going to take us too long to get there, but it depends on the road conditions. That This rain's not going to help, so... road is all soggy up ahead. I know if we kept going straight here, it would get to be a disaster. Back there to the right is a horrible swamp. Uh, my wife and I found that yesterday and got stuck in there for quite some time. Even though we had boggy mud trucks, it was really bad. And it's already affecting us. Alright, it's a little bit drier here, so we'll switch on to 
diff lock and see if we can't get some traction. Yeah, we're doing okay. You can kind of just tell by the way the road looks. If it looks, you know, darker colored, it's squish. The lighter colored road is usually not squish. There's squish up here, so we're going to get bogged in. Watch. See our right side? But because the left side's okay, we pulled through. Oh my gosh, these roads are monstrous. Watch the rocks. Oh! Oh! There we go. <laughs> this is where that high gear would help. Over the river and through the woods to the broken bridge we go. And so we have just opened up a major route on the map. Now this is where, that once you have these all done, this is where the two-wheel drive trucks come back in because you can get all the way to town on pretty good roads now. Um, now there are places up ahead where it's bad, but... Let's go ahead and deliver. And the mountain bridge oh, is finished. Now let's go ahead and finish the wooden bridge. And uh, we're getting a lot closer to our goal for that truck. I think by maybe if I play with my wife tonight on her map, I should have enough money to buy it. So the next time you see me, I may have a Pacific uh, P12 in my garage. And uh, we'll have to see. But I think that's going to be our big truck. And then after that, I'm going to save up, and I, I think I am going to buy a Paystar, because I still don't have that middle heavy truck. You know, there's still that, that little bit of range that we're missing for that mid-heavy truck. The Paystar is a big truck, you know. It's about, I don't want to say it's twice the size of this truck, but it's, it's a good third larger than this truck. So what do you guys think? Do you think we should take the time to load the to load the wood onto this truck to go down to the, the bridge? It's like down there in that muck. I'm thinking we don't want to tow this trailer down there. What do you guys think? But then again, we want the trailer, and we'd have to tow it all the way back out again, too. I think we're just going to pull it. I want the trailer to go back to the garage. I might regret this later. <laughs> Famous last words. Oh! But... Why worry now about what might happen later? Nope. Just bonk the trailer away. And, nope, I don't want the crane out. That's not what I wanted. Uh, I want gas. I want to buy gas. There we go. Okay, so, uh, we are going to go down to um, our wooden bridge so we're gonna pull ahead here up here through this mud pit and then down through here and I'm telling you what this road that's all the direction I need and eh, maybe we'll do one more to no this will put some hair on your chest right here And then we'll, once we fix that bridge, we'll pull in here and call it a night. So, here we go. Are you guys ready? We're off on another mission. Two missions in one episode. Who would have thunk that we could be so efficient? And we might, we might be able to do it in under an hour. We've got 15 minutes to get there. I don't know. I'm kind of... Thinking probably not, because the roads are all mud. Once we once we get past this section up ahead, the road is 100% mud. Yeah, see, I don't even know what these, with the two-wheel drive trucks, if they have diff lock, they might get through here. But if they don't, we could, a two-wheel drive truck might be in serious trouble. 
At least the rain has stopped. Come on, baby. Yeah, coming down is going to be easy, and at least the trailers and everything will be empty. I mean, the other thing is we could scoot across the town, but I'm not going to worry about the exfil in this video. We'll do that in the next video. Or I might just do it off camera because I'm going to be playing with this truck on a different map later tonight, so I need to get this one recovered back to the garage. So I'm going to probably just take the trailer back by myself. But I think maybe it would be better to go straight through town instead of trying to come back on this road going uphill. But honestly, we're not having too much spoke too soon. Loop of mud right there, but we're going to bypass it. <laughs> must have, I must have damaged my engine. I don't remember damaging my engine, but I must have done it a while ago. It's been like that. So we've actually had a very efficient trip this time. As I go through town, I am going to pick up uh, another load of wood and metal, so I have them on hand at my garage. Um, and there's our bridge. Wow, we did it. We did it. It took us three or four minutes to get down that hill. I thought that was going to take a lot longer. Uh, we're stuck in the mud here. but uh, Now, this is pretty mucky here, though, so we got to watch. But I think we'll be fine. This truck has been proven over and over again that it does a great job. So... Good old International Fleet Star. It will remain in our fleet. I don't think I'll ever sell this truck. Famous last words. You guys know me. I always end up going against what I say, but it's because I'm a goofball. Okay, we accept. Close. Cargo management. To wood. Wooden bridge. Unload. Bam. <sighs> that's, a, that's a pretty janky bridge, man. <laughs> We are literally within spitting distance of our P12 truck. Now, I probably should save a little more than just what I got there, but oh no, and I'm gonna die. Woof, that was close. We're really sinking in. This is a mess down here. Thankfully, this truck is very capable. Okay. Ta-da! So we crossed both the bridges that we've built, and they are proven strong enough to carry our truck. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Oh, by the way, right to the left here, um, right there, that road right there, is where you find the lift kit for this truck. Uh, and up there, you can also see if you need if you're in trouble and you need service. There is a service trailer with 300 repair points and I think 500 liters of fuel, maybe more, maybe less. But there's that right there, so you're not in too bad shape when you get to here. So have a great night, guys. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, I'm having a blast making these, so you'll have several episodes to watch or more. Bye. <laughs>